Your next manicure could be done by a robot. Companies are rolling out AI technology to expedite some beauty treatments. The CBS correspondent Anna Werner shows us how artificial intelligence could transform the beauty industry. Customers seeking professional manicures have been heading to nail salons for more than a century. But in San Francisco, you can now stop by the lobby of this office building and have a robot do it. It's the brainchild of startup clockwork. We really want this to be like grabbing a cup of coffee. And that could be anywhere from like apartment complexes to corporate offices, retail stores. Clockwork's goal is to place these machines where people live and work, making a manicure super convenient and quick, just 10 minutes. We watched as the robot painted my nails with a single perfect blue coat, with just a minor hiccup requiring a redo of my thumb. Artificial intelligence, AI, is what enables this robot to scan nails individually and paint each accurately. Cecile Quiambo took a break from work to try it. What do you think? I love them. I see myself coming back here often. But if another company is successful, you might not have to leave home. Nimble Beauty has sold more than 5,000 of its home devices on Kickstarter. Its four-coat manicure takes about an hour. My Express manicure, two coats in about 25 minutes, wasn't quite as precise as the clockwork manicure, but the company says the machine learns over time using AI. This is the shape of this nail. This is the cuticle. That is where the AI comes into play. To see what artificial intelligence in the beauty space can really do, take a look at this. You're watching robot arms ever so gently pick their way through this woman's eyelashes to add eyelash extensions. It's a process that typically takes a human over two hours of precise, painstaking labor. Looking That's why Loom co-founder Nate Harding robot. decided it was a great job for a robot. It's so laborious. And it's right on the edge of human ability. Like, I like robotics applications where you're augmenting what a human can do, not really replacing them. Lisa Sansonong came to Oakland all the way from Kansas for this. Here she is before and after. It feels great and it looks, I, lo I love it. But will this take lash artist jobs? Their national association told us it doesn't think so. While it acknowledged some lash artists have expressed fear of losing their jobs, it said the robots could attract a whole new clientele for lash extensions. So what about nail technicians? That's like saying like a vending machine would put a chef out of work. What we're going for is express services, get in, get out. There's just a whole gamut of things that humans can do, and this is not that. Her company is putting out two to three more machines in new locations each month. And Loom just installed a machine in a retail outlet, Ulta Beauty, in San Jose, California. Anna Werner, CBS News, Oakland, California.